Hey, trumpet nerds. Today, I'll be showing you the lipstick test and what trumpet players can learn from doing it. Before I get glammed up, I have some really exciting news for you all. This channel has its first sponsor, Venture Mouthpieces, but more on them later. Anyway, so what is the lipstick test? The lipstick test is a way to measure lip intrusion or how far your lips go into the cup of your mouthpiece when you're playing. Everybody's lip intrusion is gonna be a little different and depends on many factors like the structure and size of your teeth and lips, as well as how your embouchure functions. And it matters because lip intrusion can even affect what kinds of mouthpieces might work well for you. Okay, I think it's time to get purdy. Courtney researched lipsticks online first so we could try to identify which ones might stick to the mouthpiece best. We went to the store to try to find some of these and we chose three lipsticks to test. The Wet n Wild Mega Last Matte Finish in Stoplight Red, the NYX or NYX Suede Matte Finish in Spicy, and Wet n Wild Silk Finish in the Near Fuchsia. Then I tested each one and I always made sure to have freshly applied lipstick so as much as possible would stick to the mouthpiece. I quickly discovered that the Wet n Wild Matte Finish Lipstick was the clear winner. I put a link to this product in the description if you want to try it yourself. My test was to play multiple octave scales slurring up and down so I could get a realistic idea of my maximum lip intrusion. I do have some general observations about playing the trumpet with lipstick on. First of all, applying lipstick definitely takes practice. I couldn't stay in the lines. My lips get so tacky from the lipstick that articulating is really difficult. And also, constantly wiping off and reapplying lipstick will really mess up your chops. I did find that I got the best lipstick test result with totally fresh lipstick and a dry mouthpiece. What I saw consistently is that the red of my lips is basically right in the middle of the mouthpiece rim, and that my top lip definitely intrudes into the mouthpiece a bit, even past the rim cup meeting point of a screw rim mouthpiece. By the way, this Venture One Piece mouthpiece here is a custom copy copy of this Park mouthpiece. Venture makes incredible mouthpiece copies as well as custom designed mouthpieces that you can help design yourself. And as a channel sponsor, he is giving you, my loyal trumpet nerds, an excellent deal. Use my coupon code PUCKERUP for 10% off any mouthpiece you get from Venture. Using this code also helps support my channel so I can do bigger and even nerdier projects for you all. Consider subscribing to John Talks Trumpet for more nerdy trumpet content. Anyway, I also had my wife Courtney perform the lipstick test so we could compare our lip intrusion. It probably goes without saying, but she was much better at applying lipstick than me. She's not a professional trumpeter, but she definitely plays well enough to demonstrate for her middle school band students. And for the purposes of this test, we just need someone who has a well-established embouchure. Comparing her and my tests, you can see her lips do not go as far into the mouthpiece as mine do. My whole top lip seems to go in, while her lips only seem to make contact on the rim. So I have a lot more lip intrusion than Courtney does. Because my lips go into the mouthpiece more, it effectively decreases the volume of the cup because that space is taken up by my lips intruding into the mouthpiece. So theoretically, Courtney and I could both play the same mouthpiece and get different results because of the difference our lip intrusion makes in the volume of the cup. Also, as I tested more, I found that the more swollen my lips got from playing, the more my lips seemed to intrude. Here are some signs that your lips are intruding too far into the mouthpiece. You experience bottoming out, which is Actually, when your lips touch the inside of the cup, either on the bottom or on the sides, and the vibration completely stops. Or, secondarily, if there's static or interference in your sound. If you've experienced these, it's possible that your lips are intruding too far into your mouthpiece, and you might consider trying one of these three tips that I've found have worked for me in the past. First, try playing a mouthpiece with a narrower inner diameter. The narrower the mouthpiece rim, the less your lip can flex into it. You should also try a mouthpiece with a sharper bite. A mouthpiece with a more rounded or smoother bite will kind of guide your lips into the cup, which can cause more lip intrusion. And thirdly, try a deeper mouthpiece, especially one with more vertical sides at the top of the cup. That top section is really important. For example, when I made a custom Pops mouthpiece with Venture, we had to reduce the cup volume of my orchestral mouthpiece in a way that would encourage me to not bottom out. So we kept the bite and the top part of the cup exactly the same as my part orchestral piece, and I took the volume out of the lower section to make it shallower. If you decide to try out the lipstick test, let me know what you find out in the comments below. Thanks for joining me for this episode of John Talks Trumpet, and I'll see you on my next Nerdy Trumpet Adventure.